Hey everyone, it's Misty, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Creative Weekly Wisdom. Today, I wanted to share with you guys a way to create um, envelope boxes with your envelope punch board. If you have this 123 punch board by We Are Memory Keepers, all that stuff for you is already included in the board, so you won't need to do this unless you actually want it thicker or shorter than what these lines are here. Because this is how on this board here that you create the boxes, but you're kind of confined to just that dimension. And sometimes you want your boxes a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner. So if you have the regular envelope punch board, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create your um, envelope boxes for A2 size cards. So we're gonna start, these are your measurements and I'll have them popped up on the screen as we go along so you can jot these measurements down. So, and it'll also be down below. I'll include the measurements for everything as well. So for our first card, you're gonna, or our first box, you're gonna do nine and one eighth by nine and one eighth. And I'm just using some nice thick cardstock. Make sure it's thick. Craft cardstock works really well because it's naturally thicker than regular design paper. Like here's a box with design paper and you can see how much flim how flimsy that is. So you want something that's a bit thicker. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide this in here. And our first measurement will be three and five eighths. And that measurement is gonna be standard for all of these boxes. Let's see here, three and five eighths. And then we're gonna take our little um, bone folder here and you wanna punch and then score. And if it doesn't go all the way down to the end, that's perfectly fine because when we start um, folding and burnishing all our edges, it'll automatically fill in that extra area. So we're at three and five eighths. Now, for we want this to be three quarters of an inch wide, so you're actually gonna go up one inch. And that's the way it works on this punch board. So we're going to go up to four and five eighths. So let's find our four and five eighth mark. And then you're gonna go ahead and punch and then score. And then we're gonna flip it to the opposite side of this. So we'll turn it right around and we're gonna do that one more time. So we're gonna do three and five eighths. We're gonna punch and score. And then we're gonna move up to four and five eighths. And we're going to punch and score. So now, for the next two sides, all you need to do is rotate 90 degrees and you're gonna line up. It does not matter which line you start with, but you see this little score guide here that's popping out on your punch part. You're gonna line that up. Sometimes I need to lift it up to see the score line. You're gonna line that up and then you're gonna just punch and score. And then you're gonna go ahead and line that up with the other line, making sure nothing moves. And then you're gonna punch. Oops, I think we had some movement. Okay, punch and then score. And then we're just gonna rotate and you're gonna follow all these lines again and you just do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna follow our score lines, line it up with the score guide, and then we're just gonna punch and score. And you can see you know, how fast this goes once you start just punching and scoring. And then line it up with the score line, punch, and score. Okay, you can see, you can remember how we went out one inch, but you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but you can see these two lines here are not um, a full inch. If I can find my ruler, I will show you. Okay, so here's my Tim Holtz roller, and you can see how that does not measure a full inch. That measures 
three quarters of an inch. So you, when you calculate your measurements, if you want it to be three quarters, you actually add an extra quarter to the, your punch and score measurement after your initial punch and score. You know, I hope that makes sense to you. So now we have our little layout here. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to fold down all our edges. So now that I have everything scored, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut. Now this um, this is going to be, it. since the pattern is all the same, you just want to pick which side is going to be your top and your bottom. This is the widest area, so the shorter area here, these are the two triangles you want to pick. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut off the one, and this is going to be my top, and you're just going to cut that little square right here, you can cut it completely off. And I like to just line it up with the edge right here. Same thing on the other side. You're just going to take those two off. And then this part is going to be your top area. And you're going to go to your shorter side triangle. And you're just going to cut just into your score line. Right there. So that you create a little flap. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And then you have a nice little flap. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little score tape. And I'm just going to add just a teeny bit. I'm not going to try to be perfect with this today, just for the sake of this tutorial. Now you do want to make sure that you're using a, a sturdy tape, like a score tape like this, the red sticky tape. Um, a regular tape runner will not be sticky and sturdy enough to keep a box together well. If you really want to burnish it down, you can flip it upside down and take your bone folder and just kind of slide it around and pressing down inside. And that will ensure that it's all really pressed down in there and sealed. And then you have your box. So I think it comes out really nice. And like I did on my other one, you can put a belly band on it. You can put some kind of little closure here if you want or um, Velcro, sticky, anything like that. Now these will fit your cards really nicely and your envelope. So I have some blank ones here to just to show you. Some cards in envelopes. And then you just, so you do have that eighth of an inch thickness right here. And then you have just a little hair space on the side here. And that, and if you're using just cards, you have tons of space for the cards. The envelope shouldn't need a bunch of space. And then it all just fits nicely. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to start and make our smaller box here. This is going to be same size as five and three quarter by four and a half for an A2 card. But we're going to change the depth from three and a quarter to one half of an inch. And so your thickness will be more like this versus thicker like that one. So we're at three and five eighths. You're gonna punch and score. Now the next measurement here, because we want our size of our box to go down a quarter of an inch, we're also gonna go down a quarter of an inch for our measurements. So our first measurement was um, one inch above the three and five eighths mark, which made it four and five eighths. So we're gonna take a quarter inch off of that and we're gonna go with four and three eighths. So, quarter and three eighths. 
quarter, three quarters of an inch from three and five eighths is four and three eighths. Like I said, I did all these measurements for you. I'll have them up on the screen here as we go along and down in the below this video there will also be all the measurements for you guys to look at because I know it can get a little confusing. This one is a half inch thick. So you can see this is a really nice size. I'm going to go ahead and take the envelopes out of the other one. Now you see when I put these in, this one, it hit just a little bit to, on the size, but of course you can get them in there just fine. And if you want to keep that side, those little side flaps. And then this one slides in. And then here's your envelopes. Now. I can't explain it, I really truly can't, but when you change your dimensions, some things change a little bit. So like in this one, you have about an eighth of an inch right here. I would imagine if we had gone down a quarter of an inch for our overall size of the paper with the same scoring of the other dimensions, we probably would have lost that little eighth of an inch. So. That is your boxes. I'm not going to actually create the quarter inch size, which will be just a half inch um, from this, but I will include the measurements down below. And that way, if you want an even smaller box, you can certainly create that with the envelope punch board. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope these measurements work out for you. And I hope you have fun creating boxes. And these don't have to just be used for cards. Now, I did want to mention, if you don't like this little part right here, you can just cut it off, or you can score it and flip it over, but I don't, it doesn't really bother me, so I like it just like that. So you guys, thanks so much for tuning in for another episode, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!